Hello children. Today, we'll study the poem Meadow Surprises written by Louis Branded Phillips. Louis Branded Phillips was an American poet. He was a playwright, an editor, and author of children's stories. He has co-authored around 50 books for children and adults and several volumes of poetry. In this poem, he talks about the various surprises which we can find in a meadow. What is a meadow, children? A meadow is a green field. It's an open grassland or a green field. They have many surprises hidden in them. For those who have an eager eye and sharp ears to spot these surprises, if you walk very softly through the soft velvet grass, you can enjoy the music of the stream flowing by. You can also see the butterfly resting upon some flowers and sipping its nectar. You may also find some rabbits hopping around. Meadows also have houses of different animals. You may see a bird's nest or an ant's hill under the tall grass. But all these things are only seen by those people who have keen eyesight or sharp ears. Now in this poem, there are six stanzas. I will read one stanza and then I will explain it. Again, I will read the next stanza and explain it. So can we start the poem, children? Meadow Surprises by Louis Branded Phillips Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. The word meadows means open grassland or open fields. The word velvet means something very soft. The word brook refers to a small stream. So in this stanza, the poet talks about the various surprises which you can find in a meadow. But to find those surprises, you should have sharp eyes. You should look for those surprises. And when you walk through the soft, velvety grass, you may listen to a small stream flowing by. The sound of the river flowing by is very relaxing. It's a pleasure to walk through the velvet soft grass and hear the sound of the stream or the river. Now, the second stanza. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up. The word buttercup refers to a flower. It's a name of a flower. Drinking straws refers to the mouth part of the butterfly. They have got two black mouth parts, isn't it? Which they use to sip the nectar from the flowers. The word nectar refers to the sweet liquid produced by the flowers. So in this stanza, the poet says that as you walk through the soft grass, you can see some beautiful sights in the meadow. It is possible that you can come across a butterfly who is comfortably seated on a flower which is full of nectar. The butterfly would sit comfortably and use its mouth parts which is described as drinking straws here, and it will sip up the nectar from those flowers. The word nectar means sweet liquid produced by the flower. So in a meadow you will find many butterflies flying around. They will be sitting on one flower, then they will fly to the next flower to sip up the nectar. It's a beautiful sight, children. 
Now we move on to the third stanza. You may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still. Though at first you may not see him. When he hops, you will. So here the poet is saying that not only flowers and butterflies you will see, but when you walk on the soft grass, you may not be immediately able to see the rabbits hiding there behind the tall grass. But when these rabbits hear your footsteps, children, they will get frightened and they would hop out of the grass. The word scare means frighten and the word hops means to jump around. Now we move on to the next stanza, children. A dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow. Dandelions are yellow color flowers which are found in open grasslands. They are good source of nectar and so you can find many bees, insects and birds around these flowers. When these dandelion flowers are fully bloomed and when they are about to wither away, you will find certain changes in that. The golden yellow color of these petals will become white in color. And as the poet describes airy parachutes, this stage is called as the seed head stage. The seeds, they look like tiny parachutes. The word fuzzy head refers to having a freezy texture. You know, it looks as if a small seed with some white cottony thing flying around. And when you simply blow on this flowers, no children, you can see it flutters across in the air. The word flutter means to fly unsteadily by flapping the wings quickly and lightly. They look like small parachutes. And they move around slowly and very steadily they go and settle on the earth, different parts of the earth to create more plants. So these are actually seeds. The airy parachutes are actually called a seed head. So when you slowly blow on them, they fly around like small parachutes and they land here and there. So in a meadow you will find many dandelions there and the fuzzy head. When you blow on those, they become airy parachutes and they will fly around. Now we move on to the next stanza. Explore the meadow houses, the burrows in the ground, a nest beneath tall grasses, the ant's amazing mound. Here the poet talks about the different houses which you can find in a meadow. He says that, if you look closely, you can find different houses there. You will come across various houses there. If you try to explore the meadows, you will come around various houses, children. Houses of various birds, animals or insects. There will be burrows in the ground, which may be made by small animals. You can find some nest also beneath the tall grass. And you may find some mount for the ants also. The word beneath means under. The word mound means a heap of soil or, or a heap of mud. So if you carefully observe a meadow, you will find houses. You can find anthills there. You will find burrows, small nest also you can see. Now the last stanza. Oh, meadows have surprises and many things to tell. You may discover these yourself if you look and listen well. Now here the poet says that the meadows have many surprises. If one is able to pay a little more attention, look and listen carefully, you may find many beautiful surprises in the meadow. What are the different surprises here, children? 
You can walk on the soft grass. You can listen to the sound of the stream flowing by. You can see the butterfly resting on the flowers and sipping the nectar. You can also find some rabbits hopping around. You can see the airy parachutes of dandelions. And when you explore the meadows carefully, you will find different houses like burrows, nest or ants mount. But to, to see all the surprises, you need to have a very keen eyes and sharp ears. A keen eyesight is required and your ears should also be very sharp. Only then you will be able to enjoy nature. Nature is a gift of God, isn't it children? Merely walking in an open space itself is so relaxing. And when you see these butterflies, flowers, small animals like rabbits, nests of birds, you can really enjoy, isn't it? Now, I come to the end of the poem, children. Thank you.